that and religion is for it to be universal and for all time it has to adapt to the community it's in to the cultures to traditions and to the heritage of a neighborhood and most importantly to the circumstances and needs because that was how islam was during the time of the prophet also we created at the time something called the umar scholars fund and we would and this is to help young muslims go to uh, top prestigious universities so we try to promote people who are uh, excelling and have an opportunity to uh, make a contribution to islam and america uh, as part as americans we created with usc the center of muslim jewish engagement at the So with Los Angeles Unified School District, we worked on developing the Islamic Task Force, the superintendent Islamic Task Force to address the needs of uh, Muslim educational and cultural concerns. Mm. These are issues that matter to us. And uh, besides that, we also act with, besides the interfaith, also the interfaith with the other Islamic centers. And most importantly, with the African American uh, Muslim community and the smaller was like the Indonesians the Malaysians the uh, Thai Muslims we are we work with them and before some of them built their mosque our facility was their place where they would meet where they will have workshops where they have classes where they have festivals and so on so when we said okay where do we build a mosque everybody said politically if the mosque does not serve the community there's no need to build it because the uh, the mandate of having a masjid in Islam it's not just to pray it's to service the betterment of the community it serves as a focal point all of a sudden uh, brother Muhammad Ali God bless his soul he got involved and he met with us he said what can I do to help I'm the champ. I'll go down there. He went in front of the city council. He said, look, I want my mosque. I want Mosque in Omar. I've helped a lot of you people in here. Get to your office. I've done a lot of favors for everybody on this board. And if you don't, if I don't get my mosque, we're done. So he just kind of, you know, did what Muhammad Ali did, you know. Uh, he politically knew that it was important to have that where it was. The mosque is a jewel and the jewel radiates light. Masjid Omar, from its inception, has radiated light outwards, light of understanding, light of involvement. And I believe the future of the mosque, in my opinion, will be that way from here on out. There'll be generations and generations that will continue to radiate light from that building.